Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing today. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kick. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he eyes very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it, he will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Or till the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So these fighters are just a year apart with the same height and some differences in reach. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 138 pounds. Fighting out of Sudbury, Ontario, Canada, awesome! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon! Lee! All right, give me through the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back your corners, come out fighting. So here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand. Or... It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Opens with the left hand and lands flush. Just a slip there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Look at the whip action. 
Let's cross with all that kick. Kick to the body now, that one won't land. I mean, he's cutting them down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Just out of range with that right hook. Beautiful strike. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You got to slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. Big punch lands over the top. I was going to follow this one. Just misses there with the left. Shut your body off. You got the turnover in that kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. Try to establish that jab. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's in them. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Left kick to the body. Twenty seconds to go. Good punch, Lance. Oh, beautiful counter with the jab. Ten seconds to go in round one. Let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. 
Just missed with the elbow there. That right hand hurt him a little bit. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Trying to establish that jab once again. Goes back to that left kick once again. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Just over three minutes to go. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Lee. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Huge block there. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Nice right hand. Beautiful body kick. Well, that body kick was there earlier. Not there on that attempt. Oh. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations. Tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Just unable to quite find that range. Lee's kick to the body here. That one appeared to be blocked. Leg kick lands. Straight punch lands. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. All right, he engages in the single collar side. Oh, here's a kick to the body. Blocked, though, by Lee. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. What a tricky head kick. Oh, lands a left punch there, and a lot of it's set up by good footwork. Really great footwork and setting traps so that he can land that beautiful left hand. Check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes, 
and he's stationary. You keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, DC, here we go with our next round, and we'll see if he can pick up where he left off. High volume of strikes landed in the previous round. High volume of strikes landed. He was able to be accurate, but also very, very active in his approach to the start of this fight. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Flush right hand is true. What a punch. Just misses with a left hook there. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, huge head kick. Big body kick. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here, really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Good punch. Leg kick. The offensive fighter's gonna start to get frustrated here. Most, if not all, of these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Real sneaky body kick. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still stands and still in their fight. Whoa! He needs to start looking the face now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, I don't know. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transition. And that's gonna do it! That'll do it! It's over! It's over! What a fight! Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, he saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. Inside the octagon, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 24 seconds of round number three. Going the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I gotta think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and candidly knocking another man out. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was never.